Well, in the tradition of being marooned and stranded on my own, I have no idea what day it is and data loss and all that sort of thing. So knowing what uh, what data log this actually is, what visual log, uh, well, best guess. But uh, I think this is actually uh, 16. Uh, might have lost some data somewhere, but uh, well, who knows. Uh, so I've been having a uh, argument with the uh, with the Nanite uh, control factory there, and finally just turned the damn thing off. Uh, we'll turn it back on, but uh, it was actually the fighting was it was about competing resources. So uh, I needed some resources so I could actually uh, continue uh, to uh, uh, to work on these. Uh, uh, assemblers. So everything right now is is about assembling. So uh, we have uh, well quite a bit of resources. Uh, we don't have an infinite amount, but but we do have uh, a whole boatload of, of resources. So uh, what I want to do is uh, no, actually now that I have all of my resources, uh, I, I turned the thing off. I, I went to sleep. I, I crawled into the uh, cockpit over there and and uh, and had a good nap. So the nap the nap was good, uh, but. Uh, so, uh, back to work for me. Uh, so this is uh, Commander Kenti uh, Bengali, uh, sole survivor of the IPFS Sarista, uh, and uh, we're continuing on uh, with the mission here. Well, the mission now being survival. So, uh, uh, doing my best here. Uh, lucked out with the station, got the station uh, entirely repaired, which was nice, uh, and. Uh, uh, found that the station had a, uh, a projector on it. When I repaired the projector, uh, it actually started projecting this major monstrosity station up here. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is is continue on uh, with this uh, station building. Uh, this seems to be a nice, uh, quiet area of, uh, of space, uh, which uh, I don't know, maybe that will uh, continue for a little while. But I figure once I uh, finish the station here, uh, I'll determine what the communications capability, if I can do uh, sublight on uh, the communications, then maybe I can reach out and, uh, and who knows. Uh, but a uh, lot of resources around here, obviously uh, we've got uh, you know, 20 different uh, asteroids all within uh, a very short distance of, uh, of this area. So uh, I think it's a good place to, uh, to set up base. Um, I uh, don't recognize uh, anything, but uh, of course I'm not a computer, so uh, hmm. Um, none of the computers on the station here are uh, are capable enough, or uh, and none of them have uh, any star charts. Uh, so once again, I'm hoping that uh, once the station here uh, gets uh, all uh, set up, that maybe there will be some star charts or something, because I actually have no idea where I am. Uh, the nav uh, nav comp on the uh, on the small little miner there was never uh, set up for uh, for long distance hauling, so that was uh, uh, kind of a uh, a rocket jockey job on my part. Uh, uh, Tiger paws getting a little uh, too involved with things and uh, hot wiring in a jump drive and punching in a random direction uh, as long as it's the same random direction. Uh, so I guess uh, it's good. It got me here. Uh, so, uh, having said all that, uh, time for me to turn back on the uh, the nanite factory now that I have the uh, materials I need. Uh, so, uh, on down here we go. We got a bunch of assemblers. Oh, sorry. Let me uh, let me simplify. Uh, nanite control factory, and we will turn that back on and make sure it is using assemblers. Took me a little while to figure that out. Hmm, I do not know where those are. Show on HUD. Why am I not seeing? Oh, there they are. Okay. That's because they are. They are on the other station. All right, so we can uh, we can turn those off. So all of this because it's actually connected onto the station at this point uh, is visible. All right. Uh, so uh, now that uh, now that I am not competing for uh, resources here, 
I want to continue Oh, clearly, not my day. Back up a little bit. Turn it sideways to get it on there the correct direction. Pull out the welder and uh, take five. All right, and uh, we, we need to get it the proper color. not a welder. How about a welder? But a different kind of welder. steel tubes. Drat. Drat. Alright. Uh, so let's do what we can here. Well, that one's all the way done. Okay, so I just have the one, the one mechanism here left. So I need uh, small steel tubes, which I hope I can steal from tubes. Large steel tubes, girders, small steel tubes. Huh. Did it finish it? Uh, I guess it did. Where was that? Speed module, speed module. Huh? Okay. I guess it. Uh, I guess it did finish him. All right. Uh, so here is the intention down here. Um, for. So we will. Uh, I don't believe I'm going to need anything more than. Uh, another set of, of four, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, pre-stage uh, my connections. I'm out of small steel tubes. Why would it be any different? We do have inventory. Sorry, control panel. Let's see if I can be more intelligent. Not likely, but hey. Okay, and we'll stick that into assemblers and save. Uh, toolbar off, terminal off. Assemblers. We are 
cooperative mode and we are nanite queuing. Nanite control factory and use assemblers. All right, so those four should be online. Sorry, and then I didn't do what I had intended to do when I was into that port. So, uh, production, production, hello, production. One, production, six, all right, uh, yeah, so this is, this is back to the, uh, competing with, uh, You know what I'm going to do? Um, assemblers. Assembler, number eight. And uh, that one is not going to queue. That one is mine. So, production, number eight. Tubs. Yes, there are no tubs. Why are there no tubs? Alright. Um, what was I doing? I was welding. Oh, it did it already. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we gotta do the same thing up here, which is to say. Okay, let me verify because I don't think I have actually... No, I have not. Alright, so uh, this is going to look a bit strange. And uh, thankfully my solar panels are facing the other way, so I'm not actually blocking uh, the sunlight, which is, uh, which is good. Uh, so, four... bit too silly sometimes frozen all right and uh, four so we are one two course we turn it sideways. After all, why would automatic orientation actually work? Uh, Don't get me wrong, I like bells and whistles. would rather not have the bells and whistles at all if they don't work. And uh, automatic orientation does not work. 
at least I haven't seen a situation in which it actually functioned reasonably. Uh, so, for what it's worth. Uh, Alright, and this is going down here. That was supposed to be a zero. Alright, uh, so, like I did not do uh, on the other side, let us Frozen. One, two, and three. And I am going to use uh, my efforts here. Eight. Welder number eight. And that is the top assembler. It working, uh, get this working so it can immediately start doing what it does. Uh, assembler, assembler, and then, oh, let me face plant into that. And assembler. So all four of those assemblers are online and what did I do? So the last uh, two here, which are there uh, and there. And assemblers 9 through 12 are online. Alright, so uh, 0, 3, select number 4, uh, 1, 2, 3. Two, three, uh, elbow, which is now facing the correct direction, and elbow here. One, two, three. All right. Which now connects those into the world. Kind of the out and around approach, but uh, nonetheless, I wanted all of that. Uh, to be functioning within the boundaries. I wanted the, uh, the nanite uh, factory uh, to be able to do everything that it needs to do. So, uh, it is making shape, especially with, uh, with that doing a lot of the work. Power cell.
uh, not being able to uh, Freezing is annoying. So the trick is uh, is kind of getting to know and understand where uh, all these different uh, pieces are. All right, so uh, power cells seems to be the thing. So let me run, and uh, I think uh, uh, I need to configure those other uh, four. Assemblers anyway. Huh. Oh, that's why. Ten, eleven, twelve, nine. Uh, which are cooperative and nanite queuing assemblers. Save toolbar config off. Okay, production number eight, which is still still mine uh, and power cells, right? Okay, I was waiting for it to get its shit together there. mine. And they're getting stolen. cells each. So, uh, you know, having all these power cells is, is plenty. Just to say what I have here. Alright, um, one of the things I'm noticing is, is it's uh, doing more and more of the station. Uh, it's getting, uh, there's those you know, enunciated pauses every, uh, you know, 30 seconds or so. So I know what's out here, out here is the landing pad, which is not being built yet. selected onto the right item that you're trying to build is, is uh, a bit of a challenge, uh, especially when uh, it, it builds and then stops, uh, like here. It, 
it is kind of refusing to select. Uh, okay. No. As far as I can tell, that freezing is like every uh, two minutes. Small steel tube, yes. More of more of small steel tube. Okay, so uh, inventory. Let's see. ASS. course is uh, not queued and uh, has lost so production inventory uh, well looks like small steel tubes are just used for everything So the accomplishment uh, for this uh, for this visual log has been uh, we got uh, another uh, two uh, arrays of uh, assemblers online because this is really uh, this is really about assemblers now. Um, I have the raw materials which have been turned into ingots now, uh, which is great, and. Uh, so all I really have to do at this point uh, is uh, let the assemblers do what they do and uh, I might consider, uh, and I, I'm really seriously considering it, is, is putting another uh, another Nanite uh, factory over here. I'm, I'm really seriously thinking that would be, that would be a neat idea. In fact, uh, let me go ahead and uh, put the base of that on here, uh, just because. So it will be uh, literally right here. This is the, the corner of it, and uh, this would uh, conveniently be uh, be where it attaches on. So let's go into three and do a uh, one and a two. I did in uh, the last, uh, the last one here. Turn sideways, and I want the uh, display to be up. So we'll put that on there. And uh, what I did was uh, was five speed modules. Um, I don't need a medical module on this particular one because I have one on the other. So, uh, constructor, uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, three constructors. Uh, 
there will be a cleanup module. Medical, don't need the medical because I have the medical on the other one. Uh, so here's a cleanup module and uh, in place of the medical, we'll do uh, a second cleanup. Uh, let me see, I know we have uh, five uh, speed modules. think I have a projection model. So here is the five uh, speed modules. And then uh, I've got to figure out what I had as these last two. So I have my, uh, my list. So I have cleanup, uh, projection, uh, either two or three constructions. So up deconstruction construction how many did I have for construction so I definitely uh, put a projection projection module figure out what uh, what I did over here because I thought these were construction modules yep construction construction uh, clean up clean up all right well I think uh, for lack of better because we are, after all, constructing, we'll just put another constructor on there. Alright, and then uh, hopefully when that is, uh, it's kind of neat because it's still constructing up here. Um, ever so slowly, but it is uh, constructing and close as well. So let me uh, let me assess. Uh, I have my welder out here and we will see. So I need construction components, very few actually, power cells and superconductors. So construction components, power cell and superconductors. All right. mine uh, power cells uh, come on superconductors and construction components and then uh, I'm going to babysit uh, assembler 8 and steal everything as it comes out because otherwise I'll lose it all it might, uh, might have it done by the time uh, this is out here because after all it is uh, it is building on it oh look at that it is not only constructed but active 
That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. Damn, that was fast. Uh, 100%. 100%. Alright. This is... Uh, clearly rocking and rolling here. Alright, so having two of them online is actually uh, really working things quickly. So the station coming together quite nice, but after all, there is a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that uh, goes into that. This is a uh, this is a large station. Uh, no, no question there. Um, components of course is that all we need for these is construction components and girders construction components and girders all right all right production Construction components. Uh, construction components. All right. Uh, so I've got uh, quite a few girders in my inventory here. Stealing all of them from wherever it's getting them. <laughs> all right, so I think that's uh, enough to uh, to really get in the swing of things. All right, I think uh, I g I've got another warning light on the suit, so uh, time to uh, to slow down and repair that, and uh, I'm going to try and back up my data. Uh, I've been backing up in the miner because it's a little more capable. There really isn't any kind of computer on this station here other than uh, a very uh, rudimentary uh, little database thing. So uh, without, uh, without further ado, I think I will sign off for this uh, session and uh, we'll continue the visual logs uh, later.